The Network Days function is a helpful date function in Excel. The Network Days function allows you to calculate the number of work days between two dates, where you can exclude both weekends and holidays. To illustrate how to use the Network Days function, let's look at an example. Here we have a table of data with a start date and an end date. Let's use the Net Workdays function to calculate the number of workdays between these two dates. Notice that we've also specified four holidays that we want to exclude from our workday calculations. To get started, let's begin by entering the Net Workdays command. As you can see, the Net Workdays function takes three parameters. The first parameter you must enter is the start date to use in the calculation. This date should be entered as a serial date and not a text date. A serial date is how Excel stores dates internally and it represents the number of days since January 1, 1900. In this example, let's enter A2 as our start date. Cell A2 contains the value December 30, 2015. The second parameter we will need to enter is the end date to use in the calculation. Just like the start date, the end date must also be a serial date. We will enter B2 as our end date, which contains the value December 31, 2015. The third parameter is optional. It is a list of holidays to exclude from the workday calculation. It can be entered either as a range of cells or as a list of serial numbers that represent the holiday dates. In this example, we will enter the range F2 to F5. This range contains four holidays that we want to exclude from our workday calculation. Notice that we have absolutely referenced this range by using the dollar sign character so that when we copy our formula later, it will properly reference this range of holidays. Now that we have entered all of the parameters for the net workdays function, let's complete the command to look at our result. You should see the value 2 appear in cell C2. This is the number of workdays between the dates December 30, 2015 and December 31, 2015. Now let's copy our formula into cell C3 to C5. Each of these cells now contain the number of workdays between their corresponding start and end dates. This completes our example of how to use Excel's net workdays function. If you would like to see more Net Workdays examples or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.